Okay. Got it. Okay, here we are. Friday morning. And I, I wanted to cover a couple of things today in motion. Um, extension. Extension is a lot like fire. Tojima Sensei could take a full strike wooden sword, and he'd go this way. And in Sith City, he could do it with a live blade, which I never saw him do. But I did see him go, boom, fire. But then there's something called water. A lot of receptive energy is water. You punch water. What happens? Water. You punch fire, you get what you deserve. Or fire penetrates. Boom. We need to fix that, you know, better angle here is the fire. Boom. Or fire. Say right now my reflection is a little off. I see myself there. But that's an interesting, there's a triangular effect there. But fire, boom, water. And, and really you need both. Okay? Fire. I'm all fire. I'm all water. No, fire and water work as a team. Water allows you to bend, but not break. Fire penetrates. But it may burn something you don't want. Water sensitivity, fire. Gives you a direction of sense. It's that fire is the law. Okay? Now laws these days are crazy because they benefit certain ethnic groups and certain genders. And so law right now is kind of a rather screwy topic to discuss. But he's talking about the universe. Or sensei, when he's talking about fire is the law. Okay. Water. Right? So I thought we do. <clears throat> I'm looking for something here. Okay. Actually. Oh, good, we got an audience today. Good. We're going to start with this. Okay. Now, what I want to highlight, although we're going to spend a little time more on that, is the fire water changes. Also, you can see the, the center circle changes. Center circle, water, fire. Okay. One way of looking at the fire point is the center. The circle is what goes around them. Although, you know, you could argue for the opposite. Okay. But we have a form a set. People like this stuff, you know, because, you know, it's a builds camaraderie. You go one through whatever number and it builds teamwork, okay? And that's unfortunate. It has its good side. People kind of learn some things. And then at a certain point, it works against you. And most people don't go long enough to where the form works against them. Okay. And that's something I'm just going to leave on the table. You figure that one out. But, and I'll slant a little bit to give a, an angle to the camera, but movement number one. Wherever you are, there you are. Where am I? It's more your feeling sense of who you are, right here. A lot of ideas and play a lot of roles out there, but right here. Movement number one. Movement number two, going to the right, upward spiral. Movement number three, leftward, downward spiral. Movement number four, boom. Those are abstracts right through the body, right here and now. Movement number five, ready position. Left side, left hand, right side, proper grip. Too tight, too loose. Diagonal grip, 
starting with the palm, then little finger all the way up to the thumb. Ditto, the right hand. Okay, six, thrusting motion. Seven is both up and down. Eight, three thrust. Nine, change hands. Boom. Ten, boom. Left side cut. Now thumbs face each other. 11, turn cover, 12, thrust, 13, hands in that position, strike, 14, thumbs face you, 15, thumbs face you, thrust out, back to thumbs face each other, 16 is a pivot and a strike, 17 is a change in energy, okay, it's not putting your way here. Sinking into something. And it could be all of a sudden from Earth's gravity, you're going into Jupiter gravity. 17. 18 comes face each other. Boom. 19. Boom. Thrust. Now, here, don't miss the spear also. So, you know, don't stick yourself. 20. Step back. 21. Boom. Sweep. 22, this is the fifth change. Gokyo. Okay. 23, when you grab it, it's a double figure eight with both hands. It's all one motion. 24, step back. 25, first of the fire water changes. Right hand, thumb down from the top. 26, step back, 27 is here the thumb space away. This is in pivot, turn strikes, 28, 29, thumb space. Make sure here if it's sharp like a spear, don't, you, know, you don't go this way. Thumb space away, thumb space, 30. Okay. So we'll go through it again. The major changes all the way through about the first 10. Thumb space away. First change, ikyo. Second change, thumb space, ikyo. Third change, thumb space, you, sankyo. Fourth change, equal position, but. Fifth change. Again, it comes like you are going, somebody's coming at you with a knife to stab you. You go this way, grab for the way we think of equal, the blade cuts your wrist. So you intercept, you turn here, you turn the blade away, and then you apply the usually in a turning motion, okay? So that's the fifth change. Now here you don't just do that because the thumb gets deflect. And this hand supports that. So this is the fifth change. Fifth change. Now, Right, left, top. That's the double, see, figure eight, but with both hands. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And first of the fire water changes, thumb down. From the top, it goes over here, here, same change, just thumbs. Face away, thumb down from the top, thumbs both face away, grip. <coughs> so that's in the 30 movement form of you, not a kata. We call it more misogi or a gyo, which is Japanese terms. It's about self development, not learning a form. As you develop here, the form improves. Okay? 
and the form improves. Uh, there's a mechanical stage to it, but you want to have a set and a freer way than the mechanical version of it. And that freedom doesn't mean being sloppy. That's why it's a kill. It's about the improvement in here, not about getting it right out there, although we want it right out there, okay? So let me check the time. Okay, we're still on course. So we are number one. <coughs> and two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, both up and down. Eight, nine, this is all first change. 10, still first change. 11, second change. 12, second change. 13, all second change. 14, third change. 14, still third change. 15, we're back to thumb space. 16, this is sort of starts out as first change. Then it goes to 17, the fourth change. 18, thumb space. 19, thumb space. 20, some thumb space. 21, thumb space. Second change. 22, this is the fifth change. <coughs> 23, 24, step back. Now, first of the fire water changes, like a wall clock. Here. Step back. So now we're on change 26, no step, but you raise the left, grip with the right at the bottom, cover your head. 26. 27, another fire water change, but this time, thumb space away. 28, grip the first change, sweep. Strike cut from 29, thumb space, plus the spear point, thumb space away, thumb space, step back, that's three, okay? That's a four, okay? But I don't consider it, for example, a kata. In my first art was Shotokan Karate. We learned a lot of kata. And so again, I'm a little, and you know, sometimes you can be ambiguous. Why is this is not a kata? Because obviously, in terms of doing the kata, you get better at the kata. You, you and hopefully you also get better here. Okay, but the kata, even though it's not, not totally that, tends to kind of place everything out there. And um, making it a misogi kyo, fancy Japanese words for self or internal improvement, you have the form, right? So we're about to move on to what I really want to do today. <laughs> but the form is the form, you know, came up with that a couple of years ago. And um, give them some certificate of stuff. If you don't practice it, you're going to lose it. Okay. On the other hand, if you get too good at it mechanically, uh, well, that's, that's the level of, of, of development. You know, you stay with it, you can repeat it consistently, not just to get a grade or a certification, but all right. So, anybody out there, let me just check because we had a couple of pings. So. Let me see who's with us today. Hey, Audrey, hello. Okay, we got Cliff. Okay, yeah, okay. So anyway, we have the 30 movements. Okay, anybody with a question about this or that about 30? Because we're about to take a pretty big leap. Not for most of the people that are here, okay? because I don't think you understand it for a big leap, I'm trying to ask you to make. Anybody? 30 movements? What makes it this change or that change? Things like that. It's just sometimes questions. Okay. Um, I have a yeah. question. 
Yeah. So you you slide a lot in the in the course of doing changes like to the um, switching to a, a thrust behind or this and that. You're often like you know sliding your hands up and down the joke. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm wondering if there's anything in particular we should be mindful of when we're doing that in order to maintain a solid grip and everything. Well, that's a very good question. And it goes back to how we opened. There's fire. And there's water. And you need them both. The grip is both. If you grip fire this way, you're going to burn yourself. But if you let the fire go out of control, you're going to get burned too. And if you're too loose, the water puts the fire out. You don't have a fire. But on the other hand, you know, you may drown in the water. And I, I don't do a lot of sliding this or some yeah, play pool. And a lot of times what they do is they kind of, now that's fine. If you, you go to a dojo where they do that, that's what you do. Okay, for my particular upbringing, so to speak, which means I come from a lineage. And Bruce Lee's lineage was initially uh, Wing Chun. Okay. And you can look, argue, yeah, what he was doing was always uh, kind of, you could see the Wing Chun background, but then again, he went into Western boxing and fencing and grappling, a lot of stuff. So uh, I don't slide as much as some people. Yeah, like that. There's a difference between that motion and this motion. See this particular one, boom. There's the fire, but there's also the water. Okay? So, you know, those are, I, I say, that's what makes this, from my perspective, not a kata. Okay? So, as we try to explain some of that, because I have a lesson planned for the thing, believe it or not. Okay? Uh, Cliff, you follow me at all? Fire, water? Um, I, I follow you, but I'm, I'm not quite sure how it relates to fire and water still. I but mean, I understand fire. the fire and water changes, but uh, how is the grip fire and water? Well, fire and water changes. Follow the same thing. That's what we're going to explore today. Fire. Direct. Focused action. Fire. All right. The problem with fire is you burn something that you don't want to burn. Water is adaptability. Fire without water can be destructive. You could argue the COVID pandemic, we've altered nature so much and also climate change. Is fire backing up on us. We've been burning away this and burning away that, so all of a sudden we're starting to burn. But on the other hand, we're also getting flooded. The fire and the water are energy, but we see that in our current set of crises, more than one. Okay? And we destroy a lot of life on the planet being the dominant species. Look, guess what? Viruses come out of nature, of an animal's bats. They come in here, they mutate a little bit, and all of a sudden we're in a lot of trouble. So I would just say that, you know, well, since they were here, he might, I'm not going to quote him because I, I'm not him, but he might say, yeah, I'm teaching spiritual science and we need fire and water to be under control, decisive action, but a certain sensitivity. Adaptability, freedom, much more liberal, much more progressive, but that's a hard balance. You don't see that politically. If you had somebody 
that came forward with that, uh, they get a lot of resistance from both sides. Progressive, conservative, whatever you want to call it. So the fire water, the grip itself is both. You go that way, or what we're going to explore today is ideally how now the fire water changes, right? Well, since they said fire is the law, it's the center. Water is harmony, beauty, boom, 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 boom. You know, if, if the, the law burns away all harmony and beauty, we're all screwed. Conversely, if everything has no organization to it, and it's just all this way, we're flooded. Okay? And this, that's a little bit, you know, my own personal 50 years in the art. So it may make sense to you, may not. Okay? But <clears throat> and let me put this down for a second. We're going to use a variety of different. So I'm going to start with this. Now you can. If you have a gel, I'm going to go to this. This is a little heavier. Okay, you may not have anything like this. You can just start with the gel. Okay, now I'm going to start right through the leaf. All I'm going to do is let this move towards me. Move towards me. Okay, now I want you to watch here. Overly receptive. I have overly water. Okay. Now, this is going to be overly fire. Okay? And that's an important thing. Anybody, does that make sense to you? Too loose. I'm adaptable, but there are too many cracks in what I'm doing. I'm fire. But I may have a goal in mind, and by being too this way, I push it away. Does that make sense to anybody? Because that's the basis of what we're doing. If you don't get that, then all I'm doing is performing for you. Yes, Sensei, that makes sense. Audrey, does that make sense to you? Yeah, I was just going to say, is, is that kind of the same concept as in Tai Chi uh, push hands? I'll tell you, Where that's you what we're going to go into right now. Yeah, because it yield and push. Yeah. No, no, literally, that's what we're going to do. We're going to combine Aikido with a little Tai Chi. Does that make sense? I haven't that's seen it yet. But if, if... Yeah, so what we're going to do here, for example, here. Overly too much water, too much fire. See, fire and water are in balance here. What I'm going to do is let this drop towards me. I'm going to put my hand out if you're tight shape, that's your ward off position. See, I just, that one went a little bit here, but if I'm too fire, or if I'm too water, I extend my mind. But, you're simply there. So I'd like you to take your job staff or something longer than a ball can. Okay? And just say here, say there's, that's right there. There's a balance of fire and water, isn't there? Okay. Try that a couple of times, then we'll compare notes. If you have it on one side, make sure you got it on the other side. My right hand's real good, but my left needs to
Okay, so you have a chance to kind of experiment with that. So let your own system feel. Let's just think about what I'm doing. You start to feel, hopefully, we're getting towards some common ground. So, um, anybody with a question on that? Does that make sense so far? You don't have to totally understand it, by the way. Does it make some in the moment sense to you? Uh, it Cliff, seems to anything? open up in between oh, my shoulder Roger, blades. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? It seems to open up in between my shoulder blades. Well, what you'll find is in order to get, when you get the fire and the water in balance, your system, including what's between your shoulder blades, see, I've got carrying tension there, I don't know. Okay, and first of all, I go like, there's tension in the body. I'm not in a perfect tension, body without tension, but right about here. Okay, or on the other side, right about here. Okay, so yeah, you know, what, you'll, you'll find after effects like, yeah, tension between the shoulder. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to feel. Feel the back, and I'm starting to feel the balance. See, that's part of your center line, isn't it? It's just the back, back part. Uh, Cliff, anything you want to add, or no? Uh, yeah, I noticed that um, rather than there being like the perfect spot where it was balanced, there was a, a whole range of yeah. body positions, and I could move forward. Uh, on my leg balance so that I could put more weight on the front leg and more weight on the back leg. And yeah. the balance point shifted in response to um, where I was placing my body. So there, it, it could be dynamic. Yeah, it's a dynamic state. In other words, a dynamic state means that it's very flexible, which is the water. But then again, you know, you have to fade back here if it's all water. Ah, huh? So right about here, the water yields, but there's fire here. Okay, now what we're going to do here is play this way. See, I'm going to rotate, 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 and it'll fall. Okay, or converse, I'm going to rotate, 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 rotate. It's going to fall. Okay. And, you know, uh, you might have accidents where it lands on your toe, which is unpleasant, but you're right about here. Now, the harder one, which Cliff is saying, right here, you're going forward, but that's just a little further on in the program. Right. Go this way, so let's fall. Now I'm going to rotate the other way. Look, rotate, 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 just don't fall. Oh, I'm going to see this fire wanting to, to, to kind of assert control, but then again, the water is just letting it fall. Okay? So try that a little bit. Uh, hopefully, you don't make too much noise or, or whatever. Okay. So go.
Okay. Uh, again, you know, I have a kind of a presentation, so if we get bogged down, we don't go the whole distance of it. But anybody right there? No, we're seeing when it starts to fall. I, I, I want to reach out there. That's fire. Okay. But when I do that, I'm not an apple bulb anymore. I actually burn the water off. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. The grip. It's both fire and water. It's more, it's, it's in its own way, it's quite advanced. Okay. Anybody care to comment on that one? That's an important one because, you know, without that, uh, we, we can't go on. Okay. And, you, and, and all this stuff, you know, that I'm presenting, hopefully you will be motivated to work on. If you just learn about it, it's, it's kind of, um, it's just, uh, you know, you, you can, it stays out there as knowledge, as opposed to. What does it feel like? Fiery water in your own system, mind and body in your own system, in some form of dynamic balance. That's what we're after. Okay, anybody? Um, this time I tried more um, switching sides, so like I would be. Yeah. You know, you holding should. it up and then switch sides and have a moment where the staff was unsupported and then try and catch it without. Yeah, well, that's that's what we're going to do next. Right. Okay. Yeah. That, I found there's, you know, there's the range. You have to kind of have a sense of it. Yeah. Well, it, it's as I said, it is the one of the better term, the state of mind, body, consciousness. Okay. Now. I'm going to go this way. It's just about to fall. I'm going to take it. And we'll start a movement there. Now, what I did is I went right into the right. And notice here, if I'm a little too far, I push it away. And if I'm a little too water, too diffuse. Now, if you kind of want to, and you can also start. But the feeling of all the movements is really as close as we can. Just let me go. You're arguing with an idiot. Guess what? You go down to their level. Let the idiot win an argument. Keep your own system integrated, balanced. Well, you got me. Right? Now the other one, for example, and we go this way, it's gonna go this way. Right? It's the other change, now right here. The other hand can help out. And there are other changes that come out of that. It's about to fall, okay? Now that one fell. There's a tendency to go, oh, 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 So what I'd like you to do, those are easy changes to do. So, but as much as we can, the movement of the staff Don't talk to an idiot and argue with them. Okay? So give that a try a little bit. See, the feeling is just letting it fall. Free fall is really, to some degree, that's an advanced state where your fire and water are in balance. 
Okay. Okay, again, you know, just a lot of the stuff you may want to return to and just sort of work your own system around it. Okay, anybody with a question, comment on that? So, see, player wants to assert control. On the wall. Water just wants to go there. Kind of too passive. Forest. Uh, yeah, a tree falls in the forest. You don't want the forest to die. But you also can't get so upset about a tree following that that you cease to function and the whole forest dies because you're too lazy to fare. Okay, anybody so far on that? Water, fire. Yeah. Anybody uh, care to comment before we move on? Second feature source. You can play games like your mind is a fire. You can argue they're they also the opposite. It's true. But they're in harmony. Okay, that's a very different thing than my mind being empty, empty. But when I have this, my mind is clear. In fact, certain things become very transparent. There's a movement. Now, the question is, is there movement out there that would change my movement? Does my movement out there create waves out there? Then you get an interior, exterior. Is the universe out there moving? Does that movement allow my system to start to move conversely as I get a little clearer and get my fire water balance? Does my movement program the section of the universe that kind of be free? And fire trait tries to take over, or water tries to kind of take off, put the fire away. So, so I say for me, there's a transparency here. I like this place because in a lot of ways it's 
it kind of renews itself. Only the same movement again and again from here and it's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's infinite. Okay? So just take a second or two and we'll just say what happens in your own system. My breathing starts to highlight. We'll go back to up here. Mind trying to control, mind's letting go of getting clearer. Body. Uh, Audrey mentioned the tension between her shoulder blades. You may find areas of your body that you didn't work tight, like maybe your knees or your hips or your jaw. It's part of that transparency of consciousness. It's loose but not sloppy. To get ideas up here, I'm just going to stay with the experience of the fire, water, and balance. Okay. And before we uh, move on to the next stage, anybody care to comment or is there a question? This is a lot of territory I'm covering. Probably took me 50 years. And what I kind of notice about stuff is I'm doing stuff that I don't know I'm doing, which means it's, it's at a deeper level than my conscious. But when my conscious gets it, it can interfere, or the conscious say, ah, oh, just the aha moment in meditation or in practice, aha. Okay? And those are cool. Anybody with, with a statement or a question or anything you notice? I'm going to take a, take a second to just sort of sit down and look at myself in the camera. Say anybody care to share anything? Um, just again, that it's dynamic, right? The moment when, if you're balancing the staff and you're switching to holding it, um, it has to be the right time. Well, because it's in, in motion, you put it in a dynamic situation. Well, there, there, you has, it has to be a right time. Yeah, there's a range. Yeah. So it's kind of a quantum as opposed to an absolute. Ideally, when the fire and the water are in balance, it's a big leap. Everything is the right time for something. Any movement, even a mistake, creates a whole different matrix of events to have. Well, Sensei, I think that was one of his uh, meanings for the term take musu. The fire water in balance produce you to be. the parent. And the way Osensei put it, he said, I am the mother of Aikido. Aikido no Ama. Ama Terasu, son goddess. Mary Hani Sensei pointed out to me when I first got to Japan, that of all the mythological pantheons, the Japanese mythology is the only one where the seventh is a goddess. In that sense, that I am the mother of Aiki, not the father. He didn't say I'm not the father, he just said I'm the mother, which means, of course, he's the mother, not the father. <laughs> okay? But you're pregnant with yourself. And each movement is pregnant with the next movement. And there's a kind of a, a beauty there, which is moment by moment. So we're just kind of doing some stuff here that, that you know, is uh, good to know. But the way is in practice. So what I'm trying to do is plant some seeds and hopefully we get a forest out there. Each of you becomes not just a tree, but a forest. Okay? I've been doing this for 
almost, I mean, I would say I was doing some of this for some I ever saw or since they doing stuff with the staff. I pick up a stick from the video guys with all of a sudden try to be your sensei. So and then you know I got some formal coaching, but I also got the Mizuchi sensei opening up the gateway. So stand in it and I'm going to confer upon you the initiation to the secrets of the staff. So that happened in 1974. So you do the math. This, this, someone's been two years. One counting or from day one, I was trying to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, a couple of things. If you have something like this, I got this in Kauai because I figured, oh, this is, I can do some staff work with it. It's, it's, it's heavier. Well, what you find is this is actually easier, right? But on the other hand, I go, ah. See, the fire is burning me because it's burning the water off. Ah. Now for this change, when I go not out, but in, this hand, tactically, must be in connection with this hand. Now, so you can practice this way. But the feeling through these changes is much more like, and you're cool. Your fire and your water are in balance. You might not be able to do this sort of motion. Now, for example, here, I say that this is one, this is the other. Well, fire feeds water, water feeds fire back. You have a series of different things that are possible. If I check back on my body, it's loose but not sloppy. There's an organization. You can create a point of movement, or converse thing. Create a continuum. It's off of that point. A few minutes. It might be an accurate angle. The sensei might say, Jack, you're good at that, but <laughs> keep doing it. Keep, keep training. Okay. Um, you shift to a lighter staff. So I do some work, but the heavy staff. Because it's a heavy world out there, but right or not. See, this is either water or fire, but then it can freely change. That feeds the other. That can be one, or that can be the other. So all of a sudden, you get your own system in balance. It's hard to do because it's shorter. It's right feeds left, left feeds right. So I'd like you to begin to. What does it feel like? It feels like well, since he talks a lot about emptiness, but in one of his uh, books, I can't remember which one. says emptiness is non-attachment. Fire, water, producing emptiness. That's very, very precious because we're going to have a label. So I'm going. And through that emptiness, fire, oops, fire feeds water, water feeds fire. So I can begin to move. See, left, right, we're moving, feeds left. Left, we're moving, feeds right. Moving up, he's moving down. Moving down, he's moving up. 
And each movement is you know, in some sense, bring it to the next over, 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 the next over. So that's kind of what I try to do. So uh, we figure start to move a bit. Okay. Um, anybody uh, care to comment? Again, that's a that's a next level of progression. Once you get at the fire, water, and balance, that's where you. I, the the first I want to stay in that balance. That that balance is ever changing. But the balance is the balance is both the true. The balance is the balance phase. That balance is ever changing, and that balance that's ever changing phase, uh, phase the balance is the balance. It again becomes fire to water, water to fire. So, anybody with a question or comment on it? Uh, something I was thinking about um, when we were using the staff to lean against an arm, in a yeah. way, the staff was a bit like, okay. Um, coming up, right, and when we yeah. normally we're we we are taught to think of the staff as an extension of yourself as nage. In other words, yeah. I, I see it here fluidly moving between its ukeish characteristics and its nageish part of ourselves characteristics, so that the staff is yeah. is both. An external thing and an extension of the self, and in a way, yeah. is just part of the environment, and so is our body is part of the environment. Yeah. And so and the other I don't know. This is what I think. On. I haven't really. I guess. I guess the goal is to just bring everything into harmony, and it doesn't yeah. really matter whether the staff is more uke like or more nage like, but it's just another thing that's brought into harmony. I don't know, that's where I'm going with this. I'm not sure. It's I'm it, still formulating. It's productive to see it both ways. So what you're saying is, oh my gosh, the staff is like uke. Okay. Now somebody asked in the docent said once, what would it be like to be the Sensei. And I, he may have changed this. I don't think it's a stock answer. But he said, if we were like O-sensei, we, we would be uke for the universe. So it works both ways. Uh, if you are in this state, for most people, including myself, I don't feel like Nage. I'm teaching a form. I'm teaching people to think of themselves as Nage with the staff. For me, personally, I am Uke for the staff. I don't know if it takes 50 years to do that or I've just been dumb. But if you were to ask me how to state it, I would just say, I don't know, I just do it. But then again, giving it a little bit more deeper conjecture, not just like this new expert. Yeah? This is spiral. Now the question is, you know, am I 
create, I'm creating the spiral. Boom. We can't talk water change, fire water change goes in different directions. I like this because the fat end, and then there's a thin end, that's the thin end for me is the uh, spear point. But, okay, so I'm getting a good interior flow. The staff is moving very well, the relationship with Uke is really well. But the other thing is also true. The movement of the staff is a movement, you know, I mean, Osensei would say it's a movement of the universe. And I'm okay. I'm not that good. But there are energies that move, move and 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 move. And, you know, I want to get out of the way and let them move. On the other hand, I can't be in the way. But it changes. So it takes a certain amount. You know, you, you have to learn Aikido. You can't just be nagging or okay. You know, that's, that's the thing about example, having in-person contact classes. Right? Now, most of the time I play the Nagi role, but uh, especially in Japan, especially my first day, you know, I was okay all the time. People would make jokes that I would take balls for a tremendous amount of time. And there was a movie called The Endless Summer. So somebody came up with my nickname at Stanford Aikido Club, said, you're the endless uke. Because, you know, I just got thrown a lot. Because that was my way of picking up these changes. And my teachers, you know, were the non-growth form. And they'd trained right with those senses. So their movements had some of this key in it. So, okay, I was uke a lot. But right about here, you know, in a, in a if I were to say this, I'm basically, what happens is then as you start to if you had like Albert Einstein as a parent, you know, he might get you started early thinking abstractly about math, but he wouldn't try to, you know, introduce you to advanced relativity when you were 30. Unless you were Sheldon Cooper or uh, Tony Stark, and those are popular culture things. Yeah, I'm three years old. Uncle Albert, I get it all. Great. And, uh, And, you know, is the staff leading or am I leading? Um, Cliff mentioned that in another form earlier. You know, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to organize the flows to stand. Something in spirit stand. And I'm okay to that. Okay. Now, you can't just be okay and learn Aikido. Because you know the, you you have to be the nage because you know the roles change, but we have to deal with the fact that there's knowledge you need, there's skill you need, but ultimately you want to be okay as nage, or conversely as nage you want to be okay. Fire to water, water to fire. Okay, and again that all comes out of that ability that you have, or I have hopefully at some level. To, to be that fire, water, and balance, moment by moment. Um, any questions? Or I've said a lot. I'm just curious whether you're following me at all, or <laughs> I can make something a little clearer, because we're going to do a, a little bit more movement. Uh, actually, we're kind of towards the end, so, you know, we're, you know. But uh, there's a lot here that I would, for example, tell you. Tip number one. Keep doing the 30 movements. Tip number two, explore. This is about interior development. As I develop in here, somebody said, well, could you do this when you were 25, 26, 27 years old? So those are kind of my, you know, 25 through 30, I was about three years in Japan, two years back. So that was kind of my heavy training. Not that I didn't do heavy training here. It was more like different when I was back here. In other words, I'd be okay for like Robert Vito, Shihan. He was a Shihan then. And, you know, some years, you know, after that, you know, he's a bit older, 
doing my own stuff with my own organization. And somebody came up and said, we want some videos of you thinking. We came for the dose since I had, at one of the retreats. So I said, yeah, you're going eight feet in the air. I said, yeah, we put on a pretty good show. You know, it was a little bit like, you know, this guy that plays for the Warriors, Gary Payton. He's only six foot three. I, I'm five foot, probably about five foot five. My peak, I was five six, and then I got measured all the way down to five three, and then all of a sudden, you know, seven or eight years ago, I was up to five six. So you know, my height is kind of. I think I'm in the downward side of it now. But you know, he would throw these lobs, and I would jump up in the air and catch them and dunk. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, he was doing stuff. He still does very unique stuff, but you know, that was kind of more his physical prime. The energies were a little, you know, more, you know, outlandish than they are now. And of course, you know, I was, I was like primed for a lot of that because I, I took a lot of balls in Japan, so uh, I could follow the energy changes, the algorithms. So he used to use me at the retreats a lot to demonstrate a lot of his stuff. But see, okay, you can't get Aikido by identifying as an Aikido, but you also can't get Aikido just the okay. But the ideal state is that you become uke when you're nage. And here, the staff kind of represents, you know, initially I'm learning how to do the movements and do the movements with a bit more flow in harmony. That, that means that the staff is a uke and nage. But when the changes kind of get a certain level, Guess what? Staff becomes the nage, I become the uke. Uke nage, nage uke, one's fire, one's water. Well, standard way of looking at it, nage, because nage throws, is fire, uke is water. But really, you're, you're neither in both. Okay, so if there's anything I'm not you know, um, just hope I opened a couple of gateways for some of you because, you know, the amount of training we can do in the dojo right now can put us back to indoors contact training. For example, we were kind of going like this and this and this and this. See so that, you know, you're, you're you know, you're, 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 the fire is there, the law is there, but the beauty and the harmony of the water is also there. So when somebody grabs your wrist and says, click, 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 the trap door opens. Or somebody goes like, you go like, mm. the express elevator opens up, boom, boom. And again, the, at that particular point, you know, the movement of the larger energies around you creating that little trigger point opening the trap door. And conversely, you know, you start going like this, you go like this, and not, and, and okay goes this way, express elevator. And you know, those are at that point, you know, the, you're in a field of nanites. You know, they're kind of tuned to you on a fire water basis. If you're overly fire, they become overly rigid and somewhat destructive. Fire can burn off something you don't want burned. And if you're overly water, without any fire, uh, you can either drown or drown somebody else or whatever, or create a flood. Oh my God, I'm just overwhelmed. Life is so crazy. But right from where you are, the feeling here, here, and here, you're in that fire, water, water, balance, fire, balance. You're clear. You can take at action, boom, but that action is adaptable, all right? So this gives you some tools to um, experiment. All I did, I mean, all this stuff came out of me experiencing whatever, experimenting, experiencing, experimenting, experiencing, experiment, not a clear, oh, experiencing, all right? Experimenting some more deeper level of experience. That's all I've been doing for 50 years with this stuff. And most people I find are just satisfied with forms. 
Okay, so you know, I'm trying to open the gateway a little bit for something that's a little, a little more profound, and yet this is so available that you know we don't really, we don't really get the full scope of how available it is. Just a second, I'll be right back. Hello, I think you want to talk to Lynn Nelson. Yes. Yes, just a second. Good Samaritan. Yeah, it's Good Samaritan Hospital. They, uh, we have scheduled for uh, L's uh, surgery the day before Thanksgiving. So they think about you all the time. Go to the loose, whoever done that. See that, that by itself. Thank you for the concern, keeping me on the loop. But it's fire out of control. And then you want specific information. Nobody knows what to say. That's water out of control. And uh, well, since it wasn't talking about you know necessarily being some mystic on a on a mountaintop, he was talking about fire, water, and balance. Is is a template? We become a template for putting the world around us in balance. Okay. Leaders, I mean, you know, he, he's just let's say got this this thing where he was supposed to visit Jimmy Carter in nineteen. 78 and teach them the secret of Aikido and change the course of the world. It never happened, unfortunately. Uh, but given the list of presidents, probably Carter is the only one that would have listened to him. <laughs> okay, uh, sad fact. Okay, Nixon presidency, Bush, uh, Reagan presidency, Bush presidency, Bush presidency, Trump presidency. Um, you know, you get people who are overly fire, overly masculine, and then of course you want a more liberal approach, which is water, which I prefer. But fire, water, and balance. And those sense they seem to indicate in the dose and say it's not that hard. It's just that we lose our bearings with ourselves so easily because of the way the world is. So we have an eye that takes it all over. As the eye becomes more transparent, fire is very clear itself to be fire, and water is water, and therefore the balance of fire to water, water to fire, also becomes clear. And that's where we want to be. And that's where self hangs out, that's where soul hangs out, that's where spirit can move through. And when we're there, spirit moving, you know, the universe or whatever portion of it we're in is more like far. Now, okay, we're okay there. On the other hand, a good uke understands a lot about connection and flow. And then all of a sudden, you, you, you assume the nage role. You're right there. Okay? In basketball, I throw a lot, which I've never done because I've never worked with somebody who could do it. I throw a lob over the hoop at the right time for somebody to catch it and dump it. It takes a person, throws the pass above the rim, and it takes somebody to be able to go up there and get that and go, pow. It's teamwork. But you get two individuals, you get the design within the flow of the game of that moment for the pass, and the other person going this way and going for pow, and the arena goes crazy. Well, it would be nice if, you know, the I'm on the goal I pass. The conservatives say, I want to control, I want to sport. We work as a team. And after a while, we're not liberals or conservatives or Republicans or Democrats. We are all people with a balance of fire and water. And we're comfortable with either the uke rule or the nage rule. That was O-sensei's dream. I take it, create the world family. We are a family already. It's just a very dysfunctional family. <laughs> but that would be, that would be an amazing world. Okay, so he kind of entrusted us 
to preserve his vision. And to some degree, it's a vision. Bring it into being. So, I don't know. Uh, I think enough for today. We're going to be in Mountain View on Sunday. I think we'll, we'll kind of work a little staff, at least for part of the class, and see if we can get a little bit more uh, in that. But you know, I think it's a big class. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll see if I am a little behind posting stuff, but I'll post this one. So David, if you can put it on, uh, I can put it on. I, th I think it's just, this is a big class. I think it's, uh, it's really, uh, and, and some of the ways that we presented it. Uh, of course, the people that tuned in today are, are, are somewhat within the flow of it already, but maybe you don't quite get what you're in the flow of, and I hope I did a little better job today of vindicating exactly where you are or where I am. So, thank you all. Thank you, Sensei. Take care.